God is expecting an intellectual discourse with you on your salvation. Frontal lobe, that's where your forehead is, one of the strongest bones in your body. You remove the protection of your frontal lobe. Full access, not simply at your conscious, but at your subconscious. Music bypasses the frontal lobe. It enters, your ears are way back here, your frontal lobe is way up here. This is your temporal lobe. Music bypasses your frontal lobe, gets into your brain. So that when music is given to you, whatever message is tied to the music is not properly analyzed. God is expecting an intellectual discourse with you on your salvation. We are intellectual beings, even though most of us don't act like it. We are. And because we're intellectual beings, and God is a God of intellect and understanding, God wants to intellectually dialogue with you because you have to come to the point where you accept the fact that you are unworthy of, of, of the merits that God is ready to give you, that you are a sinner, that, that you have problems, and so most of us are in denial. You cannot overcome denial without reason and intellect. The alcoholic, he has to sober up long enough. That's why sometimes you have to just get them away from drugs and alcohol long enough for them to come to their senses and say, that's why the rich young ruler could not, not the rich young ruler, the prodigal son could not return to his father until he lost everything. The point where you accept the fact that you are unworthy of, of the merits that God is ready to give you, that you are a sinner, that, that you have problems, and so most of us are in denial. The temporal lobe, music bypasses your frontal lobe, gets into your brain, so that when music is given to you, whatever message is tied to the music is not properly analyzed. One of the strongest bones in your body sitting right here. You remove the protection of your frontal lobe, and the devil has complete full access, not simply at your conscience, but at your subconscious. Music bypasses the frontal lobe. It enters. Your ears are way back here. Your frontal lobe is way up here. This is your temporal lobe. Music has got to reach people intellectually. That's why Jesus so many times stopped people in what they were doing. Nicodemus was trying to find a nut. I mean, when he said, look, no, you must be born again. Ain't no other way around this thing. You know what I mean? Zacchaeus, come out of the tree. Let me go to your house. We got to sit and talk. Jesus could have reached Zacchaeus in the tree where he was. No, no, come down. We got to go the standard of some of these networks and as they do this this stuff is bypassing the frontal lobe so when you have a rapper say I am Jehovah God MC or when you have a rapper say um, um, at the beginning of the movie Belly um, it says I sold my soul to the devil and the price was cheap living life on this, de on this level is twice as deep and you got some poor child ain't got a, some boy ain't got a father and this bass voice comes through the, through the speaker with, the, with this hot beat and he says that this part of the brain is off. All he's getting into deep into the core of his being is, I sold my soul to the devil and the price is cheap. Living life on this level and it's twice as deep. He is now taking in DMX's message all the way down deep into his soul and it is going to sit there because everything that goes into your brain stays there. Your brain is a completely perfect computer in that nothing that enters your brain, no experience you have. That's why the Bible says in 2 Timothy, study to show yourself approved unto God. No matter what you do, you're studying. Every time we sit down and listen to Beyonce uh, or, or, or Jay-Z or anybody, you're studying. And repetition is the key to learning. The Jews would sit there and read the Torah, just way, moving back and forth to read the Torah over and over and over again. Read it till it, till it became a part of them. If you sit there and listen to the lyrics over and over and over again, you cannot help but have those things reinforced in your mind so deeply that it becomes a part of you. And you will begin to behave. Thought is first in an action. Thought. And so as this thing comes in and your thoughts begin to change, then you will react. Yeah, it is inevitable that your actions are going to change. That girl who was said at 14 and 13, she will not give up her virginity. Let her sit and listen and watch the life of J-Lo and Beyonce and some of these other superstar women. And guaranteed, one of the influences is going to win in her life. And usually the one that is most time spent, most money spent, most exposure, that is the one that's going to have the, the ultimate winning force. And so our young people have to really be discerning and step away from a lot of things. And, and let me say this, you, some things you cannot cut down on. You know, I have people who have certain diseases, um, like, like, you know, I have people with, with COPD and emphysema. They can't go to a low cigarette diet, a low cigarette habit. They got to cut cigarettes out completely. 